Fred had been an announcer, he told me, I suppose it's true, at the uh, uh, CBS station in uh, Providence, Providence. Providence, Rhode Island. And he said that when I came on the air and said, this is CBS, he would come on the air and say, this is such and such and such Providence. That's what he told me. He said, he said that's how I learned about broadcasting. We're joking around. So uh, he, had a, he came to New York and he, he had an artist wife to support, paintings, he didn't make any money. And he needed money badly, but he was a good friend of the man who was uh, one of the partners in the, uh, in, the, in the agency, the talent agency that had cornered the market in news people, Jack Good, who was also from Brown University in Providence. And uh, so somehow Fred uh, was over at CBS doing this little program of his, for which I don't think he made any money, you know, maybe $75 a week, called uh, Who Said That?, in which uh, 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 contestants were supposed to guess who had uh, spoken a certain, you know, phrase of the week, a phrase good enough to get into the news. And uh, by that time I was uh, settling in at, uh, at NBC and uh, I, I was introduced to Fred and, and he, he was unhappy at CBS, so he brought the program over to NBC and I did it. And uh, we did it for a while uh, and um, it was going along pretty well, pretty nicely. Changed it around, I had a lot to do with changing it. I, if I do say so myself, we, we arranged so that uh, nobody got a prize, but that if, they, uh, if the contenders missed completely, they had to put money into a goldfish bowl. Mm -hmm. You know, great, brilliant things like that. So uh, while that was going on, suddenly uh, a television was coming in. Not suddenly, but uh, Tread got all excited. Uh, we, were going to be, uh, we were going to go on television. We were going to be the first panel show on television. There was a lot of opposition. People said, what can you do on television? A, tele a telegenic screen is a busy screen. Uh, you have to have action. What are you going to photograph? Just, what are you going to film? Just guys sitting there at a table? You must be nuts. So a lot of people predicted total failure. Mm -hmm. But we made, the, we made the jump and it, it worked very well. We became the first panel show, as I said. And the second one was, uh, uh, what's my line? I felt the... Uh, transition from just a mic to a mic and a camera very easy. Not easy, but very natural. And this uh, transition was going on all over. It went on into NBC's main newsroom where once a week they would bring cameras down into the newsroom and we had a half hour program and I was selected as one of the three chaps to uh, 10 minutes each to fill the news. This was the first television news that, that NBC had had, that sort of, that sort of thing. So the the uh, ferment was uh, beginning to, to mix a metaphor, percolate all over. And so it wasn't just who said that. But I didn't have any, uh, any great problem with it. I, you know, I, it seemed uh, perfectly normal. I was used to uh, having my picture taken as a still picture in, uh, in various different uh, times, places. No, it, it worked uh, quite, quite easily for, uh, for who said that.